Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody contacted me via email and asked if there was a way to make a stitch pattern to, like you could use for several items. You can't really make a stitch pattern for a round one and then a square one, but it's really pretty easy just to make it for this round. I've got a six inch circle. I'm gonna go to effects and I've done videos on this before. Contour, and we're gonna contour to the inside, let's say a quarter of an inch. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to contour a quarter of an inch. We're going to go ahead and break the contour apart by going to object and break the four objects apart. Now you can take this line, you can hit F12 on your keyboard and then change it right here to style and pick a, pick one you think might look good for a stitch pattern. That's probably too little. Um, let's do that, but then let's make the it thicker and you can see a stitch pattern. Now that might be, and you could always make it black to make it more look like a stitch pattern. Now a round one kind of still has a problem because you've got an extra long one there, but we could fix that. We're gonna take this one and do the exact same thing. You can also just go down here to your pen tool and double click and bring this up. So we're gonna make that, that one inch. We're gonna go ahead and make it in black and then we're going to pick another stitch pattern that might be work a little bit better. And you can make your own stitch patterns and I know I have videos on that. Now this worked out perfectly on this case. Now it kind of messed up that one stitch uh, because it's, I think it was trying to go around the corner. <clears throat> but if, if we do this and we go to object and convert the outline to an object, you can actually take that and you can left click, right click, and you can see our fault in our drawing, but you could fix that. You could take this and you'd want to do this more precisely than I'm doing. Um, you could actually take away that node and take away that node. And you now you have a square all the way around. Now let's back up here because one thing you can do Let's get it back to where it was a stitch. You can also, with your stitch pattern selected, you can hit F12 on your keyboard and go right here to align dashes and you can pick two of them. And look what it did, it put a stitch pattern on the corner. <clears throat> There's a way around this to make this more evenly. Um, I don't think, maybe this will work here. Yes, look at that. It made them all perfectly the same size. And you can make this whatever thickness you want. Say we made it a little thinner. You can make it a little thinner. Of course, it's gonna give you more stitches. And you can make your own stitches. You can make your own line pattern by doing that. Now, if you wanted to actually cut these stitches out, you would just make them a hairline but look how little they got. So we need to pick another stitch. Let's pick here, hit up 12 on your keyboard and go to, uh, yeah, in this case, you might even have, because it's a hairline, you might actually have to uh, make your own stitch because those are so small. I don't think most people that are doing this are gonna cut them out anyway. But see, there's that, uh, that's too thick. Well, I, I must have picked the wrong, there we go. Most stitch patterns are just engraved. <clears throat> and it, let's say you have a round coaster, you and it's already cut in that one inch circle or that six inch circle or three inch circle, whatever it is. Uh, if your laser has a red dot pointer, you can lay your leather. He's uh, actually mentioned leather. You could lay your leather out and either center, center engrave and it will trace that, leave your lid open and don't let it cut that, but you can make sure it's in the center. And then once you're there, you know your stitches are gonna be perfect. Anyway, I hope that answers the question. Thank you for watching.